Hello everyone, this is Roxas one 3 5 9 welcome back to Sonic Colors! Last time we finished up the Asteroid Coaster, getting ourselves more things inside that place. And now in this part, we're going to be gathering red rings in the Tropical Resort. So, starting with Act 1, we're going to cut ahead a little bit inside of Act 1 in order to get our first of the red rings we missed, which you need to have drill in order to get. So, there we go. Let's bounce on the balloons. Now, this is going to be post-commentary because it took me a long time to get a lot of these red rings, to say the least. So, that's why we're going to be doing that. At the same time, we're going to be getting a couple of S ranks inside these videos, which means we won't be having to go back for them for S ranks. For the ones that I get S ranks on, I will put in there the uh, grade of me getting the S rank. I don't get an S rank on Act 1, so we're going to be going back to that in an episode uh, in a couple of days. But for right now, let's fail to loop and get our next drill whisk. Nothing like getting drill. So, where do we go now? Well, we need another Drill Whisk, which is right here. This will get us ring number four, but if you come down over this way, there is red ring number three. What's up? That's red ring number three. And if you remember, red ring number five is at the end, and uh, you have to go through a rainbow ring in order to get it. I ended up missing that originally for that. So, why am I doing post commentary for this? Well, because it took me a long time to get all these red rings, ladies and gentlemen, and I could focus better without doing that. It's gonna be the same for the, um, what is it called? Anyway, there's the red ring. It's gonna be the same for the S rank ones, if I even do commentary for those episodes. The only reason why I'm doing it for the red rings is because there's some things I need to explain when it comes to the red rings. But, let us get that. If I hadn't lost my all my rings in that explosion from that mine, I would have gotten an S rank on Act 1 of Tropical Resort, which is kind of a shame. But. Thank you, I try my best. So, jump through the last ring, get the last red ring, and there we go. That takes care of Tropical Resort Act 1. So, now we need to move on to Act 2 to get ourselves the red rings that we are missing there. So. Short by 180,000 points. If I hadn't have lost my ring, this would have been an S. The worst. So, there we go. Now let's move on to Act 2. But as you can see, red rings go into the giant Sonic head. So, next stop, Act 2, where we're missing the first and the third red ring. Both these red rings require drill, so you need to have drill in order to get these. So, first things first, let's go down. Get the first red ring. Go up right here, go down. Watch out for the fans, because there are spikes on the top of some of these. All right. Now, this is one of the stages that I get an S rank on, so keep that in mind. As you can see, there's spikes inside this one right here. Really, the secret to getting S ranks in this game isn't going after the fastest time, which is kind of paradoxical for a Sonic game. It's more do things for points. Anyway, red ring number two is right here. And... Let us go. One, two. We're not going to get to the third red ring for a while, so for right now, let's build up some points with drill. And through here we go. And let us boost. Get all the rings. Right. And we're coming up to where we get the third red ring. So what we have to do is not use 
laser. We use drill. And go on down right here. Go through the right one of these. And you will see these little bugs right here. At least I think they're bugs. Break all of them. And red ring number three will appear. And there you go. That's red ring number three. That takes care of act two. So, let's go through here. Laser. There we go. Now, red ring number four, you have to go and redo the stage in order to get, I believe. So, keep that in mind. Unless you end up taking the right path to lead out of the place. So, it is possible to get them all, but since we already did, it doesn't really matter. So, with that, we got an S rank, which means we get lives. Sweet. One thing I'm not doing on these screens. Oh, sweet, I just realized it's one, two, three, four, five. That's awesome. I love it when I do that. So, now on to act three. So, uh, some of these I don't put the showing off act three logo because I end up hitting the reset button. I get better with that as time goes on, so no worries. Anyway, if you go and sidestep right there at the beginning, you'll get red ring number one. So let us keep going. There's laser. There's red ring number two. Pretty much getting S ranks a lot of the times requires getting the red rings because they give you 30,000 points a piece. So that's always a good idea to get the red rings when you can if you're going for S ranks like I am. All right. Duck, duck under. And the laser. Coming up to the next part, which the next two red rings are going to require drill. As you can tell, a lot of the stages inside of Tropical Resort require drill for you to get the red rings. And these ones are kind of a pain in the butt to do, to say the least. I do not like these two red rings because you can run out of drill really easily if you're not paying attention. So, drill. And we have to find the right hole to go into, so then we can get the third red ring. Not this one, though, because this one spawns enemies. Anyway, there's drill right here, so let us go right here. This is not the right way. You can hear the drill music for a while. All right. Let's try again. At least we're building up points. So, go through this one, and you will end up with red ring number... Th That's red ring number four? I thought that was red ring number three. Huh. Then that means that the one we're going after next is red ring number four, which you have to dig through this or go through the right pipe. You can make it if you dig through this, though, so you don't need to worry. Huh. Looks like I got red rings number three and four mixed up. That's kind of odd. Especially because, you know, one of the red rings ends up sooner than the other one. But, let us grab rings. Are you sick of this music yet? I know I am. Let's do drill. And you can't use color bonuses forever, so keep that in mind. So when you get a color bonus, you can't use it forever, so keep that in mind. It will eventually say time up for it. But, let's break the boxes, because you get points for this. Only 100, mind you, but points are points. So, where's red ring number five? Red ring number five is going to be at the end where the alternate goal ring is for act three. So, here we go. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eggpons, no! Why, Eggpons, why did you kill yourselves? 
But let us head on over and get ourselves to Red Ring number five. Hello, little egg pond. Doing your little dance. Die. Alright. Go right here. You don't need drill anymore, so don't pick up drill. And... Thank you. Even though all I did was press the A button. So, let us keep going. There's another laser wisp right here if you ended up for some odd reason using your guardy. But, use laser right here. And you end up to red ring number five and the alternate goal ring, which will generally guarantee you another bonus grade. But since we already have an S rank, it doesn't really matter. So, let us grab the lives. There we go. And that completes Act 3. So, let's go on to Act 4. Now, this one is actually going to require Frenzy, believe it or not. So, what we're going to need is Frenzy and Drill. Starting off with Drill. Go down over this way. Avoid all the enemies. And, as you can see, we have a Frenzy Wisp and some Red Rings. So, nom 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 our way through this. And here's Red Ring number two. Or Red Ring number three, I should say. So all we need is Red Ring number four, which is also on this downward path that you're going to need drill in order to access. All right, go down over this way, and if you look, there's the Red Ring. So, there we go. That's all the red rings. So now it's time we end off the stage. And there is an alternate goal ring at the end over right here. So there we go. Pretty easy act, but we only got an A rank because I got hit. So we're going to have to come back and get the S rank for this one. Which isn't going to be hard to say the least. All right, and there we go. That takes care of Act 4, so let's now move on to Act 5. But first things first, more Red Rings appear inside the giant Sonic head because we now have 90. We have half of the Red Rings inside Sonic Colors, ladies and gentlemen. So, now for Act 5, we're going to need Spike for this one. Already have an S rank on the stage, so it doesn't matter about coming back. All we have to do is come back for the red rings. Now, one thing about spikes that I don't realize at this point don't spin dash. That actually ends up, uh, you know, causing your spikes to run down faster. It helps you go faster, mind you, but you still go and run out of it sooner. Anyway, you get that and you can get red ring number three, which is why you need spikes. All right, one, two, three. Aim up and boost. Uh, I missed one egg pond to get the slam. It's the worst. Now this one, I kind of do in a unorthodox way. Anyway, use laser to go up right here, but I messed up, so go me. Luckily, we've got spikes. Right. What's up? There's a red ring up there, as you can see. Oh, we already have that red ring, so it doesn't matter. At least I think we do. Now, as you can see, there's a red ring right there, but there's also a red ring behind the thing, so I end up screwing up right there, and I can't get back up. So all is lost, right? Not necessarily. 
necessarily. Because, come down here. The gold ring's right there. But, if we end up lasering just right, we can eventually get our way up there. Because you need to use laser in order to get behind right here. So, laser. Got the red ring. We appear behind it. And we get the other red ring. There we go. That takes care of Act 5, which means all that remains is Act 6. Now, Act 6, you're going to need to have spikes in order to be able to get the last red ring. We already got four of the red rings, so we just need one more. All right. So, let us head now to Act 4, 6. Silly me. So, Act 6, all we need is spikes. So, let us go. We need red ring number 4. Alright. 2... Here's red ring number one, but we don't need that, so I'm actually gonna ignore it because I'm gonna come back to this stage later. And there is spikes for us to go and get ourselves red ring number four. So, jump on down. And there's our red ring. So, that's red ring number four. That's all the red rings inside of the tropical resort. Whoops. Going the wrong way here. So, let us go inside the goal ring. And there we go. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. Rocks is one, three, five, nine. Next time, we're going to be going to the Sweet Mountain to get ourselves the red rings there. And then, I believe, the episode after that, we'll be going to the Starlight Carnival. So, see you all next time.